hello everyone in this video i will show you how to create a security protocol using the site tool and how to and uh, how to claim the security properties over the security protocol okay so first we have to run the um, site tool so site is a model checker that can be used to verify the security protocols and its security properties okay so uh, we start um, defining the protocol by using the protocol keyword okay and followed by the protocol name here i am going to give protocol name as demo okay so after that we have to give the communicating roles name basically we have to declare the communicating roles so here i will consider two communicating roles that is initiator and response okay so now we have um, created the uh, protocol now it's time to define the the communicating roles functions okay i will define first we will define role i that is initiator okay so what i will do in role i is i'm going to create one nonce variable freshly generated nonce variable i will call it as ni and of it is of type nonce okay so once after creating the nonce variable i'm going to send this nonce variable to the commun communicating role that is the receiver okay so i'm going to send this uh, nonce, var nonce variable using this send function okay send one from the role initiator to the responder and the data values n i so now i need to define the role r that is the receiver okay so here i need to i need to create a variable to store that nonce value so which is coming from the initiator role okay and it is of type nonce and i'm going we have to define a receive function okay for the for the for every corresponding send function there has to be a receive function to be defined okay so which looks similar to this send function okay and okay <clears throat> so so if i verify so okay that 16 yeah so i haven't closed the role r okay so to when i click on this uh, verify so there is no claim property uh, to verify basically i i'm not claiming anything in this protocol so that's why i'm not getting any um, verification results here okay so now it's time to add the security claims by using the claim events okay. so i will create a claim event by name i1 in the role initiator i so so this is a secret secrecy property so claimed by role initiator and the property name is secret and i'm claiming this secret property on the nonth value n i okay. and I will try to go verify this okay so i got a verification result and i got an attack here so basically what is happening here is so i'm claiming on claiming a secrecy property on a nonce value which i am going to send from the role initiator to the rec receiver and i'm sending this data without any encryption so if i click on this attack graph 
so you can see the orange part so this represents the attacker part okay so basically what i'm doing is i'm sending a data that is ni from initiator to responder okay and this data is not at all encrypted so basically the attacker can do a re reply attack okay so, okay now let us see how to fix this attack okay so just to fix this attack so i just need to do i need to encrypt this nonce value with the public key of the receiver okay and the same thing i need to do it at the receiver side also and okay so now uh, the data ni has been uh, sent to the receiver with encryption okay let us see do we get the attack or not okay so i will click on the verify protocol yeah so by sending the data by using the encryption so we have removed the uh, previous attack so that's it guys thank you